I've seen that sign before. I've gone the wrong way. Jamie McDonald. Well, he finally made it the right way, coming west to east to west. That is, uh, the epic journey has come to a close. Eleven months, seven thousand kilometers, all across Canada. Here he is. Have you washed this costume yet? Absolutely not. It smells delightful. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks very much. Congratulations. You know, we got wind of this story a couple weeks ago. Uh, we reached out to the newsroom. We said, you know what? Uh, we are inspired by this. But tell us, this is uh, an ambitious adventure to embark on. Why? Why did you want to do this? You know, I spent the first nine years of my life most of the time in hospital. Uh, so I've got a condition called Schwingermyelia. And symptoms as a kid, sometimes I couldn't move my legs. And immune deficiency, the list goes on and on. Uh, but I got my health back. And so this journey was about giving back to the hospitals that helped me out as a kid. But also the adventure was in Canada. So I wanted to make a difference here too. And talk about an adventure. We have uh, some of the visuals from the start of your journey. What were some of the worst elements weather-wise that you had to brave going through this entire experience? In the prairies, you got minus 40. And I had to actually run in that. Yeah. Like, it's a different world in Canada. Um, I ended up getting frostbite on my nose, and it turned brown, and some lovely Canadians told me that it was going to stay like that for the rest of my life. It was the worst week ever. <laughs> and here you are, uh, a bit of the journey with the backpack and there, colder temperatures, but you had to switch backpack to baby stroller because of the injury along the way with the weight on your back. Yeah. Somebody said, how are you going to run across Canada? And I was like, what, a backpack, stupid? Who would have thought of a baby stroller? <laughs> and, and, and here truly it is, and I think the interesting thing about this journey is there was no support team. Oh, look, camping out on the street there, waking up. Uh, how would you maintain that sense of safety along the way? You were all by yourself on this. Yeah, I had no entourage, so I, I slept rough. It was definitely not sugar-coated. Mm -hmm. um, but there's something about, you know, roughing it that I really enjoy, and it's the appreciation. You know, just from a Canadian coming up and giving me a hot coffee. And, you know, and I don't just say thank you, you know, and be polite. I really mean it. And you had the opportunity to connect with a lot of strangers. Uh, you said you had no entourage on the road. You have a bit of one today because uh, <laughs> friends and family, your dad is here. And they were saying that of all the people that you met, there was one lady in Alberta that wrote you a letter that really showed the impact of a journey like this. You know, it's really sad, but all across Canada, there are kids that, that are dying and their, their families are, are going through that. And something that happened on this journey that I didn't realize is that through my run, um, I'm able to, to touch those parents and the families and show that I'm out here supporting them. Um, and that's what they have left, isn't it? How much money were you able to raise? I think nearly $200,000. Get in there. Unreal. <laughs> Unreal. And your final moments coming over to Vancouver, uh, going from the Atlantic to then the Pacific Ocean. Uh, how rewarding was that? What's going through your head with a finish like this over at Children's Hospital? You know, like, I dreamt about that moment every single day. And I had no idea if I could make it, and that was the truth. And, and so to get there, it was really emotional. Loads of man tears. <laughs> That's a real man, though. Let the tears go, be emotional. And uh, the late great Terry Fox, undoubtedly an inspiration for you along the way? Hugely, you know, like, I had so many tough days, and I imagined Terry Fox running that same route with cancer in one leg, and suddenly my days didn't feel so bad after all. Well, jimmymcdonald.org is the website. We heard you on the radio, News 1130, our sister station. And they said, well, what did you want when the race was done? And we heard that you said you just wanted a beer. So, Joe, <laughs> come on over. Oh, yeah. And it's never too early anymore, is it? No, like... this is like lunchtime for us now. <laughs> you enjoy that. There's the website. Good on you. How long are you still here? Are you taking off next week? I'm going on holiday. Yeah. I'm, I'm here in Vancouver for a week. So, yeah, hopefully the fundraising continues. And if anyone kind of invites us, us into that, great. Nice and a one. few beers along the way. Nice. So Jody knows me well. She knows it's the Great Goose Water over here. She's like, I'm not going to bother with the beer. we got beers for your entourage right here. Congratulations. Uh, thank you so much. An honor to meet you. An inspiring message. This man right here. Check out his site. The man just doesn't stop running. He just runs it just it, nonstop. Still going. It's like the Energizer Bunny with a Flash costume on. Absolutely incredible. And we didn't plan that at all. No. That just, that just happened. Pure passion.